forget Freddy, Jason, and Michael. We're looking at the horror flicks that deserve way more love. This is your guide to the hidden gems, the chills you never knew existed. Join me as I count down the top five most underrated horror movies of all time. Get ready for some seriously scary and seriously overlooked horror films on this episode of Ranking Rumble. Welcome back to WWH. My name is Andrew Dreamer, and I'm really excited for today's show. Yes, there are a lot of mainstream horror movies that I love. I mean, my favorite horror movie is Halloween. How much more mainstream can you possibly get? But underneath all the bright lights and recognition are some fantastic films that rarely get talked about. Films that exemplify what this genre is all about. See, Horror has always gone against the grain. It's the red-headed stepchild of the film industry. Horror is not conventional, and that's why I love it. That being said, I want to shed some light on the movies that go unnoticed in a genre that is shunned by a large portion of Hollywood. Just look at the Oscars. And now, it's time to head down to the ring. Let's get this show started. Starting us off at number 5 is The Ritual, released in 2017. The Ritual deserves more recognition for a few reasons. First, it slipped under the radar with a quiet release on Netflix. Unlike many horror films with extensive marketing campaigns, The Ritual arrived with minimal fanfare. The film follows a group of friends on a hiking trip in Sweden to honor their deceased friend. Taking a shortcut through the dense forest, they become lost and stalked by a terrifying ancient entity lurking in the woods. Their friendship frays as they fight to survive, uncovering dark secrets and facing their own inner demons. Secondly, the ritual defies horror movie stereotypes. It prioritizes well-developed characters over cheap scares. The friends at the center of the story are flawed and relatable, which makes their fight for survival all the more gripping. Their journey becomes more than just a monster chase. It's an exploration of grief, guilt, and the bonds of friendship under extreme duress. Despite its strengths, the ritual isn't without its issues, though. Some people find the plot familiar or the characters frustrating, but if you're looking for a horror film with thoughtful characters, a suspenseful atmosphere, and a creature design that will definitely stick with you, The Ritual is a hidden gem. Let's move on now. Coming in at number four is Bubba Hotep, released in 2002. All right, here it is. Bruce Campbell as Elvis fighting a mummy. If that isn't enough to sell you on this one, I don't know what is. On the surface, the premise sounds ridiculous. I mean, an elderly Elvis residing in a retirement home teams up with a guy claiming to be JFK to battle a soul-sucking Egyptian mummy. But beneath the wacky concept lies a surprisingly layered film. Campbell delivers a phenomenal performance, portraying Elvis not as a caricature, but as a man grappling with aging, regret, and the fading glory of his past. What do I really have left in life but this place? It ain't much of a home. The humor is sharp and witty, but the film also tackles themes of loneliness, societal neglect of the elderly, and the search for meaning in one's twilight years. Bubba Hotep seamlessly blends horror, comedy, and surprisingly touching moments, making it a film that will have you wondering what the hell you just watched, as well as feeling strangely grateful that a film like this exists. Bubba Hotep offers a unique and rewarding cinematic experience that proves Sometimes, the most unexpected stories can be the most profound. By the way, don't miss a single bone-crushing upload. Hit that subscribe button, unleash the horrors, and become a member of the WWH universe. We're not just wrestling with horror. We're delivering it to your screen every week. Our number three entrant is Psycho 2, released in 1983. This film often gets overshadowed by its legendary predecessor, Hitchcock's masterpiece. Released over two decades later, it carries the burden of following up a film that redefines suspense and horror. But Psycho 2 deserves recognition in its own right. It's a surprisingly effective sequel 
that dares to tread new ground while staying true to the original's themes. The story picks up 22 years after the Bates Motel murders. Norman Bates, released from a mental institution, attempts to rebuild his life. However, a series of brutal killings throws suspicion back on him, and Norman himself struggles to discern reality from his fractured psyche. Oh, oh, that's, that's beautiful. Go on, psycho, pick it up. Come on, pick it up. New characters, including a determined young woman investigating her sister's suspicious death at the Bates Motel, add fresh perspectives to the narrative. While Psycho 2 can't recapture the groundbreaking shock of the original, it delivers a tense and thrilling ride. Anthony Perkins' chilling performance as Norman Bates remains a highlight showcasing the character's internal struggle and vulnerability. The film also explores the enduring legacy of trauma and the difficulty of escaping the past, making it a thematically rich sequel that stands out in the horror genre. And here is where I might get in some trouble because I actually prefer this film over the original. I know, I know, I understand the legacy and everything that came with Hitchcock's Psycho, but this sequel delivers everything I could possibly want. Sure, it's a more traditional slasher, but there are a lot of elements that I love. It is absolutely worth the watch, so if you haven't seen this movie, go check it out. Number two in this ranking rumble is another 80s slasher called Intruder. Nestled amongst the slashers of the 1980s, a period overflowing with hockey masks and summer camp massacres, lies this hidden gem from 1989. Often overshadowed by its more prominent peers, Intruder deserves a place in the spotlight for its unique setting, dark humor, and surprisingly effective execution. Pun intended. Unlike the typical slasher locales of campgrounds or secluded cabins, Intruder unfolds within the fluorescent lit aisles of a grocery store on the eve of its closing sale. A ragtag group of employees, busy marking down prices and prepping for the final day, becomes the target of a brutal killer. He wants to slash their prices. Oh, who's there? He wants to cut their inventory. As the body count rises, paranoia sets in, and the remaining workers struggle to identify the murderer amongst themselves. Director Scott Spiegel injects a good dose of dark humor into the proceedings. The characters, while not the deepest, are well-developed enough to be endearing. We have the wise-cracking manager, the perpetually hungover cashier, and the nervous stock boy, all providing moments of comedic relief amidst the carnage. This gallows humor adds a distinctive layer to the film, preventing it from becoming a completely dour experience. But Intruder isn't all laughs and quirky characters. The film boasts some impressive practical effects for its time. The kills are brutal and inventive, utilizing the supermarket setting to create a sense of claustrophobia and danger. I've got to mention some of the cast too. Sam Raimi, Ted Raimi, and Bruce Campbell all appear in this movie. I mean... That alone is enough for me. While Intruder might not reinvent the slasher will, it delivers a tightly paced and entertaining experience. With its unique setting, dark humor, and practical effects, the film stands out from the crowded field of 80s horror. If you're looking for a hidden gem in the slasher subgenre, Intruder is definitely worth seeking out. We're coming up on our final entrant, but before we reveal which horror movie is the most underrated, we do have to take a short break. Stick around for more WWH action. If you're looking to save 20% off of your order from Redcon 1, I have the deal for you. All you have to do is type in code ANDREWDREAMER12 when you're checking out, and you will immediately receive 20% off. Head over to ProWrestlingTees.com slash ANDREWDREAMER to check out some of my merchandise. Last but not least, head over to Patreon and consider becoming a member of the WWH Universe. We got a lot of really cool perks over there and we would love to have you. We're back, let's get right to it. Our number one entrant, the most underrated horror film ever is Hell House LLC. This found footage film from 2015 has become one of my favorite movies of all time and the franchise as a whole is climbing the rankings as well. I absolutely love this movie. You probably already know that though because I do talk about it quite a bit. The story follows a group of ambitious entrepreneurs who purchase a dilapidated Abaddon Hotel to turn it into a Halloween haunted house attraction. Ignoring the unsettling history of the building, 
They push forward with renovation only to encounter strange occurrences and escalating paranormal activity. As opening night approaches, the crew finds themselves trapped in a terrifying situation, desperately fighting for their lives. Hell House LLC utilizes the mockumentary format brilliantly. The film weaves found footage of the events with interviews from survivors and investigators, creating a sense of unsettling realism. The slow burn approach allows the dread to gradually build, punctuated by moments of genuine terror. Unlike many found footage films that rely on shaky camera work and jump scares, Hell House LLC uses a more subtle approach, letting the unsettling atmosphere and eerie occurrences slowly get under your skin. What are you looking at? Holy The film boasts impressive production value considering its independent roots. The Abaddon Hotel itself becomes a character, its decaying walls and shadowed corners adding to the overall creepiness. The practical effects are equally impressive, creating unsettling visuals without resorting to excessive CGI. Hell House LLC isn't just a collection of jump scares. The film explores themes of greed and the potential consequences of ignoring warnings. It also delves into the allure and dangers of the unknown, leaving a lasting sense of unease long after the film ends. For fans of horror that relies on genuine atmosphere and a slow-burning sense of dread, Hell House LLC is a must-watch. But that is going to wrap up this episode of Ranking Rumble. Let me know down in the comments what you think about these films. Also, let me know what horror movies you think are overrated. If you enjoyed this look at the hidden gems of horror, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. And remember, in the squared circle of horror, there's no count out for nightmares. My name is Andrew Dreamer, and this is Wrestling With Horror.